Now we're going to consider the power transmitted by a wave travelling along a string. So we're going to start from the formula for kinetic energy. I'll show you this derivation in just a minute. We're going to end up with the power is equal to a half mu, where this is the linear density, V, that's the wave speed, omega squared, the angular frequency squared, times A squared, which is the amplitude squared. So let's derive this formula now. So we need to start from our expression for kinetic energy. We know that kinetic energy is given by, well, dk, that's for an increment of kinetic energy, is given by a half dm times u squared. Now, this is for an element of string. So this speed here is not the speed of the wave, it's the speed that the piece of string is moving at. So in order to work out how quickly the piece of string is moving, we're going to need to use y of x and t is equal to a sine kx minus omega t plus phi. And then we can differentiate this to find out how quickly a piece of string is moving. So u is actually equal to dy dt, which you can see is equal to, in this case, minus omega a cos kx minus omega t plus phi. Okay, so now if we want to find out how much kinetic energy in an increment of string, we've got dk is equal to a half. Now, the mass of a small piece of string here, we can give it a mass if it's got a length dx, then dm is going to be dx times the linear density, which is mu. So we can write this dm as mu dx. And now we've got u squared, so that's omega squared a squared cos kx minus omega t plus phi. Now because we're trying to get power, which is energy divided by time, let's work out how much of this energy flows through in a tiny increment of time. So we're going to divide by dt now. So we've got dk dt is equal to a half mu. Now we'll actually divide this dx by the dt. Doesn't matter which term we divide, but you'll see why we choose this one in a minute. Omega squared a squared cos, well this should be squared, squared kx minus omega t plus phi. And now dx dt, that's how quickly this wave is traveling in the x direction, so that is v. So that is equal to a half mu v omega squared a squared cos squared kx minus omega t plus phi. Now what we really want to do is work out what's the average value of this dk dt. So if we want to work out the average value of the dk dt, we're going to need to know the average value of cos squared of something. So if we, it is a half, if you want to work out what it is, one way to do it is we can integrate from 0 to 2 pi of cos squared theta d theta and then we have to divide by 2 pi because that's the range, this range, 2 pi and when we integrate this thing, this thing is pi so this is actually equal to a half. So that's one way to show that this cos squared, the average value of that is a half. So we have that dk dt average is equal to a half times a half, so that's a quarter mu v omega squared a squared. So we've now worked out how much energy is transmitted as kinetic energy. However, the string has also got potential energy, and the potential energy we've seen in simple harmonic motion gets converted between, well the energy gets converted between kinetic energy and potential energy and on average these two things have the same value. So that tells us that P is equal to dk dt plus du dt and we can take the average of both of these and these are the same so this actually turns out to be equal to a half mu v omega squared a squared. So we've now shown the relationship that we set out to prove.